Thanks for joining us today. Today we're going to learn how to configure music on hold using the Cisco Configuration Assistant. Music on hold is a feature that allows a caller to listen to music while waiting to be taken off hold. As you can see, I'm working with four IP phones, two SPA 525Gs, a 7970, and a 7945, along with my UC540. So on the left-hand panel, go ahead and select Configure, Telephony, Voice Features, and there you'll find Music on Hold. Once Music on Hold is launched, you'll have several different options. The first thing here is the audio file. On the drop-down menu, you'll notice there are already two default .au files listed here. You also have the option of customizing this and importing your own music file. In order to do this, you're going to have to go ahead and take a .au file and drag it directly onto the UC500 series. So I'll show you how to do that. Here's my magic.au file. I'm going to go ahead and drag it directly onto the UC500 series. Notice that anywhere else in the topology view, I do not have the option of dropping it. Once I drop it, another dialog box will be launched where you'll have a little bit of a review, naming the file name, which is magic.au, and the system to which we're applying it to, which is the UC540. Go ahead and select Configure. The UC500 series also has a build in Audio Jack where you can plug in an iPod and have the music on hold be any recording you would like your customers to hear. Go ahead and launch music on hold again and you'll notice that your file will be directly in the drop down menu. There's magic.au. Go ahead and select it. Now there are two different options here. The first one pertains to music on hold being enabled for external calls. Notice once I enable this option, it is automatically enabled for internal calls. I also have the option of only enabling it for internal calls. I'll go ahead and enable it for both and select Apply. And there you go. You've successfully configured Music on Hold using your own .au file. Thanks a lot for joining us today. We really hope you found this tutorial useful.